Hey everybody, uh, mailbag's starting in about three minutes. Uh, it's in the other room, but I'll get over there in due time. I just wanted to spend a couple minutes before mailbag uh, seeing our little mom cat here. And I'm just mentioning that because I started the archives, so uh, we'll get started at, at mailbag right around 10. I know you don't want me to go, sweetie. We're all set up in the other room, though. I'll hang out with you more later. Okay? Promise. Alright, sweetie, we gotta get moving. I'll be back. You should eat some more breakfast, okay? All that stuff you accidentally pushed off your plate. Dog, oh, you got a big belly. So big, oh my goodness. So many kittens. some more breakfast. Go on. chair somewhere else, so I'm going to steal one of these to sit on. This one looks pretty sitable. Let's try that. Get my shoes off. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you? We're just about ready to get going on mail day. Good, I think. Pretend like it is anyway. 
So, are you feeling better today, Scooty? You look like you're feeling a little better today. She had a couple of mellow days after her deworming. So did some of the kids, but they seem like maybe today they're a little perkier, huh? That's good. That's good, yeah. I'm gonna go out and beat up some faculty. Is that what you want? Go chase somebody down? So, uh, news, there's no news this week because uh, it's just a, just a regular old week with nothing much happening. There were no adoptions, there were no vet visits. Uh, everybody seems pretty healthy and good. Uh, so not much to report, actually, and that's the way we like it. Um, uh, you know, next Friday is gonna be the next adoptions. Uh, and I think that's uh, Friday is gonna be uh, the boys Jack and Bass are gonna be adopted uh, and then uh, I have to check the calendar. I don't, I don't remember if there's anybody else coming up that weekend or if it's the next weekend then when everybody else is, almost everybody else is going to go. And then Scotty is getting adopted uh, like the second week of May. And uh, Pug, I can't remember. I think Pug's hanging around for a while, but I, I can't remember. It's all, it's all in the Discord anyway. So uh, just not too much going on this week though, which is, which is nice. Uh, I got a chance to do a little bit of work on the technical end of things. I say got a chance, really, sometimes it seems like it's more forced into doing it, but I really enjoy it when things are going well. And uh, I made some good progress on the tech front. Unfortunately, there's a lot more to be done there before we really have anything to show for it, so... Uh, but I'm feeling good about it right now, uh, which is nice, too. Uh, I guess that's about it. We might as well just uh, hop right into opening stuff up. Now, there's no, uh, like, real letters in today's mailbag, I don't think. But we did get this, which is kind of a letter. It says, OK to read on air. And it has this real pretty rainbow cat on it with, uh, like, a paisley kind of pattern. Not paisley, though. It looks more like uh, like quilling almost. So, you know, obviously not. Anyway, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, wow. It says, the Designer Series Model Center. Well, let's take a look here. This is um, the Villages magazine. It says, let's play ball. And there's several pages marked in here that I guess will probably make sense uh, once we start reading this note, I hope. Is it several pages or is it all the markers in the same page? No, they're just close to each other. Oh, being a Betty for cat's sake, I see. SPCA volunteer, that's very cool. Aw, that's a cool little cat patio that they have at the Caddy Shack. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, here we go. Well, I'll show you that for a second. This is the, uh, the Villages Magazine, April, and uh, there's a whole article here. And it says, Thursday, April 14th, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, and kitties, I'm a lurker on Discord, but really enjoy it so much. They are such thoughtful and talented folks. It is indeed the best place on the interwebs. I've been following K.A. since Fiddle, but I don't remember more about his mom or siblings or what year it was. Uh, me neither. Uh, mailbag is a big deal on Saturday mornings at my house since I don't have a lot of time during the week to check in with Discord. And thank you for the live streams during the week, Mr. A. I don't know how you keep up with all the kitten shenanigans constantly going on. LOL. K.A. always looks so clean and keeping up with your house and yard too is more than a full-time job. Glad you're taking time for yourself. We have had kitties and dogs in our lives since childhood. Our final pet is a 16 and a half year old puggle that we've had since she was a puppy. Our kitties are now frolicking uh, uh, over the Rainbow Bridge, so I get my kitty fix by enjoying K.A. Oh. We live in the Villages, Florida. Oh, I see that, the Villages, Florida. Uh, an over 55 active adult community where pets are spoiled and loved. We have a wonderful network of shelters and societies that take wonderful care of the homeless pets. I've enclosed the newest issue of The Villages magazine, which has several articles about those wonderful shelters and societies and more. I hope you enjoy reading them. Here's hoping everyone has a joyous spring and wonderful summer, especially those at Kitten Academy. From Cooper Mom 71, aka Kathy C. All right, Cooper Mom 71, thank you so much for writing to us. I'm going to really enjoy taking a look at this magazine. Um, and uh, that's interesting that over 55 uh, is an active retirement age. Like, that's a very young age to be uh, retired. Also, um, it's, uh, it's interesting that there's places to, to uh, do that that, you know, are, are very supportive of pets. Uh, maybe something that's going to be important for me later in life. 
Uh, hopefully later than 55, though. I mean, like, that's right around the corner. Woo! Uh, thank you so much for writing. I really appreciate it. And, you know, I really appreciate the lurkers on Discord. I don't think Discord would work if everybody uh, were trying to, you know, participate all the time. But it's just really fun to have everybody there, and the lurkers make up the vast majority of folks. Um, and then every now and then, you know, contribute something that, that is really fun and seems like it comes out of nowhere. And uh, that's, that's enjoyable for me, too. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for being a part of it, and I'm glad that it's enjoyable for you. All right, uh, I, I thought there was another thing that was sort of letter size. Maybe this is what I'm thinking of, although I don't know for sure. It's got, got an odd stiffness to it. Um, so, let's see what is in here. If I can. Go. Oh. Oh, my. What? Uh, some sort of a cool vintage uh, metal toaster thing sign. I like it. Uh, and it says, Aww. This is my first time sending to KA. When I saw this, I thought of you from Lab Nerd on Discord. Lab Nerd, I love your name, and I love what you sent. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. It's a very angry looking, first off, it is a, it's a metal sign. It's printed in enamel on metal. Uh, and uh, that's, it's really cool. It's got a real cool like vintage look to it, but let me get this sticker off so we can see it. Maybe I can get the sticker off without taking all the plastic off. That would be too nice if I can. Anyway, it's got a very angry looking cat drinking a cup of coffee, and it says coffee because murder is wrong. Uh, I can't get the sticker off. Um, this is so cool though. Drinking a cup of coffee, you see he looks very angry. Coffee because murder is wrong. The font's cool, the color's cool. Everything about this is completely awesome. Uh, I'm so glad that you thought of me when you saw this because I'm really happy to have it. I'm gonna have to decide if I put it over by the coffee maker, if I put it in my office. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm going to enjoy having that around to look at. It's very, very cool. And uh, Lab Nerd, what a cool name. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that. Okay, uh, we're going to keep going here. Scooty, hi, hi. Bring me a toy to play with, okay? Where's one of your fetching mice? Where are your fetching mice, by the way? I see that one over there. It doesn't really count, but we can use it. It's all the way over there. you got to go get it for me, okay? If I act like I throw it now, is it cruel to get her to run after something when I'm not really throwing something? Or is it cool if I do it so she gets something for me? She will. Scooby. Mm -hmm. Do you get something if I, if I pretend to throw it? Will you get it? You will. Oh, okay. She probably would. I'm not going to do it. Okay, uh, this says LFS. Okay, this is from LFS, and it says deploy to the next tiny kittens, which I'm assuming are Crouton's kids. So here, this is our first thing for Crouton's kids. Um, very interesting. Let's see what it could possibly be. Oh, oh, the good stuff. Oh, man, the very good stuff. These are those little plastic sticks with the, uh, with the fur ends on them. Here we go. Uh, we've kept one of these uh, in the bedside table for these kids to play with and for the previous class to play with. They are a huge hit. And that's all it is. It's just a little plastic wand with a little fur end on it. The kittens love it. It's real convenient. Like I said, I keep it in one in my bedside stand, pull it out to play with, and they all love it. These guys love it. Um, and uh, probably these are going to work one, two, three, four, five. Uh, my guess is that we can just sort of have one of these in the room and save the rest for endowments, too. So that is so great. LFS, thank you very much. And I noticed as I was going through uh, the mailbag ahead of time here to sort of look uh, and cover up the addresses as best I can. There's a lot of stuff coming in from LFS today. So uh, there will be more. In fact, uh, no, this one says, all it says is Crouton Care of Kitten Academy. All right, so here we go. This one is for Crouton specifically. And is there a note inside? The note says, Never has a mom cat stolen my heart so fast that I felt I had to send something uh, cozy for your blanket for it immediately. Please give the gray one to her now and keep the pink one for her endowment. From Steph, who is Scooty, or from Steph Scooty Patootie on Discord. There we go. Steph Scooty Patootie on Discord. Um, it is, uh, it appears to be, whoops, a gray, and you said put the gray one now and keep the pink for her endowment. So it is a gray. Uh, it looks like marshmallow bed uh, blanket. 
Yes, that's exactly what it is. I will put it through the wash, and I was actually thinking, so we've got a few of these, like, sort of in stock, I guess. We keep, you know, a few things like this around that people when needed. And I was actually looking at them just the other day thinking, I wonder if I should get one out for these guys because they like that little white blanket so much. Maybe an artificial, well, it is, the white one's artificial too, but it's, it's trying to be fur, where this is just trying to be the marshmallow bed material. Um, so I was thinking about getting one out for these guys, and I think uh, maybe she would like one too. Ooh, I can see I'm gonna have to put this through the wash first. I just got it out and it's already shedding everywhere. So uh, we will, we do usually put these through the wash once before we start using them. And I will do that, I will put that through the wash, and then we will try to deploy it to her. Uh, and let's hope in the meantime that it doesn't shed everywhere on these guys. But I just, you know what, it's fine. We're just gonna keep rolling. Keep rolling, all right. Uh, Steph, right, Steph? Uh, Scooty uh, Patuti, I think. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, that's a fun idea. I hope she likes it. She's got a marshmallow bed in there that she hasn't shown any interest in, or, you know, in the others, but I think she's more of a tr classic uh, mom cat in that sense, where they just want to sit on the wood floor for a long time, uh, and then maybe uh, she'll come around after that. Who knows? Uh, this is another one that is addressed to Crouton. Wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Did I confuse myself? Oh, I gotta go back. Go back. Everybody, rewind. Hang on, just look right here. Crouton. Okay, no, that was crouton. Good. Okay, good. Okay, so both for crouton. This one's just for crouton. Oh, and it's also for Steph Scooty Patootie. All right. Never as a mom cat stole my heart. Oh, you say the same thing. This must be the pink one. So that's cute that the pink one comes in a gift bag. I'm just gonna take it. Yes, there is a pink one in there. So the pink one's in a gift bag, and we can just leave it in the gift bag for her endowment. How cool is that? So that'll be crouton endowments or in deployments, and this is also for crouton's kids, so we'll put that in there, and then we'll just slide it out of the way for the moment. And this is the pile of stuff for me to uh, do things with after mailbag. Good. So now we're on the way. All right. This says, no, it just says Kitten Academy. Hopefully there's a note. The return address for this envelope seems to be just random characters. Oh, this says, I love you, and uh, it doesn't say I love you. That sounds a little bit uh, too formal and uh, direct. It says, love you and what you do from Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer, uh, we're going to say did Jennifer D, because I think that's, uh, I don't want to get into last names. I usually try not to. Jennifer D, thank you so much. We love you and what you do, too just so you know, it works both ways. So what you have sent appear to be uh, reflective, jingly collars, ooh, very reflective, uh, with bells, and oh, they have the, I think the same kind, let me check these clasps. No, a slightly different kind of clasp. Uh, they do come apart a, a little easier than the ones that we have been using, so I like that. Uh, they might be a little big for kittens though. You guys, you'd be amazed how small kitten necks are. I mean, you really would be surprised, so let's try. Let's pull one of these off real quick and uh, put it at its smallest setting because I think we're going to have to save these for mom cats that need a collar, uh, which is rare, but sometimes the adopters would like one on their cat for various reasons. So let's check it out here. Hang on. They're all interested because of the bell. Oh, it's very interesting, isn't it, buddy? Okay, so this is on the very smallest setting. It's about, uh, I don't know, about eight inches there, maybe. And... Uh, obviously fun for the kittens, but this is uh, our biggest kitten right now, uh, aside from Yurt, is Saint, so we might as well try Saint on as a test. And uh, it's, uh, it's a little too big. Yeah, you can't really tell because of his foot though, so instead let me compare his collar, which is fitting in perfectly to the length of this collar, okay? Let's take a look here. All right, you can see that even at its smallest, this other collar is a good inch or two longer, probably a couple. And uh, it's not, I guess, pretty good, actually. I expect it to be a lot more of a difference than that. So maybe these will work about the time that they're about ready to leave. Uh, I assume that's what you sent them for, and uh, for sort of their endowments, uh, you know, collars. And it's a great set of colors, too. It's the whole rainbow of uh, very bright. Like I said, they've got that little reflective stripe on them. Uh, that's going to be perfect for us to use when it is, uh, when, when it, uh, adopters want some colors on their kittens or maybe a future collar. Uh, to upgrade to once the kids grow up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna put this one back on and 
even this one is, uh, like I said, it's perfectly sized. I can fit my finger under it real easy. But all that floof is a little deceptive. It makes you a bad illustration after all, even though you're the biggest boy here. Okay, uh, thank you so much for those. Those, uh, like I said, we will uh, we'll end up using those for sure. And we're gonna keep right on going here. Uh, LFS, oh, it says LFS, endow to Bassett. Okay, uh, well, this is gonna be for Bassett then. Let's see what it is for little Bass, who's gonna go home uh, in the first, uh, uh, next Friday, he's gonna be one of the first to go home with his brother. Ooh. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, it's a little tiny butterfly toy. Uh, we, I've seen this one before. It's like, the, it's like the big butterfly toy that we have, but it's a miniature one. And also, oh, the door hanging toy, except uh, like the like the, the a door a bowl toy that hangs in the doorway, except this one has, uh, looks like a butterfly with ribbons on it and a jingle bell. Oh man, and it's got a little clippy thing on it too, so you can actually put any end on it that you might put on, um, uh, you can put any end on it that you might normally put on a, uh, a wand toy. Uh, Bass, that's, this is your toy, buddy. You're the one blocking the camera to look at it. These are going to be really, these are both like some high value toys, LFS, that I know he's really going to enjoy. So I'm going to put that right back in there. It still says Bass, but I want to write uh, Bass in on there a little bit bigger, too, so that it's even more obvious as I'm looking at things. Bass. Okay, there we go. And then uh, I'm not going to put it in that same box because that's the crouton box. So we'll just set it there for the moment and keep rolling until we have a better spot. Uh, this just says Kitten Academy. Maybe there's a note though. LFS, uh, thank you for that. Uh, those, like I said, those are toys I can. I know he's gonna love. Buddy, do you have to sit right in front of the camera though? Do you? Oh, this says welcome to KA Crouton. Here are a few blankets for your kittens from Frozen Tundra Crew. Thank you, Frozen Tundra Crew. And um, ooh, pretty blankets too. These are pinks and grays and whites. I see we've got hearts and some elephants and some flowers, very pretty. Uh, little cotton receiving blankets, just like the ones that we tend to use for the kittens when they're very small. Um, you know, newborn kittens have, have their claws out and that's why things like polar fleece uh, don't work too well for them because the, their claws just get stuck in everything. But the, uh, the cotton flannel receiving blankets that are more finely woven uh, tend to work out pretty pretty well, uh, even right at first. So that's how we usually roll. I'm gonna put that in the cotton box over here. Cotton? No, not cotton box. Uh, that is the uh, crouton box. Yes, there we go. This says, oh, LFS Endow Food Fiend Jack Russell. Okay, well good, Jack also leaving on Friday with Bass, their brothers. They're gonna go together. And LFS has sent, ooh, oh, okay. This is, oh, this is one of those little mice uh, that you put treats into, and then the little mouse gets batted around and the treats fall out. Awesome. And this is a mysterious pod. It looks like a toy that has a, a, oh, I see, it's got a bell in it. Okay. And probably supposed to put some catnip in it, I would guess. It's a uh, plastic. It's got these weird teeth on it. It's got a real strange texture to it. So I'm guessing this is for him to bite on and chew on and, and play with the bell. And I'm guessing you could also probably push some treats into it to make it even more stimulating or catnip or both treats and catnip. Uh, I really like that. It's a, it's a weird little design that I think uh, is could, could look really cool. So I'm gonna write Jack in big letters on this too so that we don't mess it up even though it already says Jack and put that right there next to base. Hi bud. Moving right along, uh, here we have one that says, oh, LFS again, and this is Niobium for Niobe's adopter. All right, let's check it out. So this is for uh, Niobe, who uh, uh, is that uh, Palm's new name, I believe, right? Uh, somebody, uh, I'll have to check to make sure I got that right, Palm. Uh, let's see, Uncommon Goods, okay. Aw. It's a handmade sterling silver garden fairy pin with niobium wire. Oh, it's actually made from niobium. Wow. Who knew? Uh, let's open this up and take a quick look at it. If I can. It's uh, in an envelope, in an envelope, in an envelope. Gotta go deeper. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, all right. Uh, something is in there, and something is in there, so let's see. Oh, well this is a whistle for some reason. Wow, I'm really tempted to blow it, but I know that would not end well. A little whistle, and for Palm, a whistle. That's ironic, isn't it? Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Uh, it, is, um, it is a little, I believe, uh, let's see, it's got, I can see the little wings. And uh, definitely the wire. And what uh, what did I say that it said that it was? It says it is a garden fairy. Okay, good. I kind of thought it resembled the like the Cottingley fairies, uh, Cotting Cottingley uh, fairies, I guess. But I can't quite make heads or tails of it. Like literally, I just see the wings. Anyway, it's it's a cute little pen, and uh, it's got little gems on it, and the niobium wire, and uh, it's a cute cute thing for someone with a kitten named Niobe. I love it. Uh, that's super cute, and also the uh, the ironic uh, whistle can stay with that. We'll just package it back up as best we can, uh, even though it was never going to look quite right. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Put that right back in there. With this, LFS, that is so kind of you to send this stuff for their uh, adopters, you know, for their uh, endowments and adopters. That is really, really sweet. So, uh, niobium, okay, I'm gonna write niobium on this and then I gotta check to make sure that that's bottom because I'd hate to be wrong and give it to the, oh, you did bring me a fetching mouse. That's perfect, all right, let's fetch. You ready? Go get it. Okay. Well, you gotta be careful about sliding. Yeah? No, did I, oh, there's my pet, okay. Perfect. Uh, okay, so that's in this group. Where is it? Here it is, fetching mouse. Okay, let's go fetch the fetching mouse. You ready? Here we go, we're gonna put it back there. Oh, I thought I could get it up on the shelf. Alright. Okie dokie. What are you looking at, face? Oh, okay, good girl. Look at you, you're back. Okay. Oh, I keep throwing a little too hard. Okay, are we gonna get it up there this time? Let's try. Oh, good girl, Scooty. You're a good girl. Oh, so much closer. Still didn't do it. Okay. Well, open first. Okay to read on stream. And then we have another uh, package inside the package. Hi, base. Are you going to wrestle my foot? Uh, it's a kitty uh, on a very packed piece of luggage saying, do you know how much gratitude is packed inside this card? Whoa. And it pops up and says, uh, maybe a little too much. Not really. You can never be thanked enough. Aw, that's sweet. And then, what are we looking at, base? I you got little bits of stuff on you. I need to vacuum in here after mailbag, don't I? Uh, okay. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ faculty, and the student body of Kitten Academy, greetings from the Great Plains state of North Dakota, where the wind never stops blowing and we only have two seasons, winter and road repair. I hope this letter finds all at the Academy healthy, happy, and progressing well with their feline studies. I have been a fan of the KA family since Angel's Fishes back in 2017, and in all those years, this is the first time writing to the Academy. Wow. Uh, it feels like a privilege to watch you, DJ, and even the faculty in their own way lovingly and patiently care for the mom cats and their kittens, helping them receive everything they need to have a good start and move on to their forever homes. The Academy became essential viewing when the live two years ago. My family in Canada became KA fans with Bebops, Weebops, and there have been many event evening viewings, close-ups, and mailbags we watched together thanks to the internet. Watching you care for these little fuzzy balls of chaos has been wonderful to watch and helped alleviate some of that pandemic anxiety. Thank you. Enclosed in the second envelope is something I think every cat person should have. I have fond memories of it from my youth. I don't know if you have one of these already, but having an extra is always a good thing. Again, thank you for your dedication and everything you do. Keep it kitten. Sincerely, Lawrence from Fargo. Wow. Uh, oh, Lawrence is Nico Kuhn, uh, Neko Kuhn, 
on Discord. All right. Uh, also from Veronica, Randine, and Miria in Saskatoon. Wow. All right. So let's see what every cat owner needs. If I can do it carefully enough here. There we go. Oh, wow. It looks like a vintage copy. All right. Let's see what this is. What do you think, bud? It is uh, How to Live with a Calculating Cat by Eric Gurney. Wow, that looks fun. It is. Uh, the cartoons and everything have a very vintage style as well. And uh, let's see what the publication date is. It's looking a little yellowed, which means 1962 by Prentice Hall. How about that? So cute. Uh, dedicated to my wife, Nancy, whose help, advice, and love for cats made this book possible with a little cat rubbing up on it and the dedication. How sweet is that? So, uh... <laughs> uh, it's very cute. It looks like it's full of humor and cartoons. Cute cartoons. Uh, here's one spitting out a little hairball. I'm going to have a lot of fun going through all this. Thank you so much for sending this. Wow. Some uh, classic 1960s cat uh, humor and advice. I I'm excited to check out. How to Live with a Calculating Cat by Eric Gurney. All right. Thank you very much. I'll put that here in the pile of things. And uh, oh, did you bring your throwing mouse back? Where is it? Where's your fetch mouse? Hey, Scooty. No. Did you drop it somewhere and I didn't pay enough attention? Well, I don't know. I guess she'll bring it back again if she needs to. What are you getting into there, though? We don't need to get into that. Go get me a mouse. And you don't need to be biting on a knife, okay? You go get me a mouse too. That is, uh, that is really cool, and I'm so glad to hear you watch with your family. It makes me feel um, uh, like I, I need to do more close-ups, which is something I've been feeling for a while, uh, to, be, to be fair. So don't, don't feel like you know, you're to blame for uh, my guilt, uh, but, uh, but it certainly is a, a good reminder of how much those close-ups are appreciated and how important it is for me to get back into a regular schedule of them. Oh, look at you kneading on that thing. You're a big sweetie pie. She does this, uh, I don't know how much you guys have seen her knead on the blanket that's here, if she does or not, but on the, we have a marshmallow blanket like this on our bed, on our regular bed, a little bigger, obviously, and uh, she likes to get up there and knead on it, she just kneads and kneads and kneads, it's very sweet, so it's cute that she's doing it here, too. It's not your blanket, though, that's okay, it's gonna go through the wash. All right, uh, let's see here. Yeah. All right, no clues on the outside of this open it up and see what we got. It's heavy. Oh, I see why it's heavy. It's full of food and treats and some fun toys and a readme first. All right. Readme.txt uh, on Mother's Day and every day. And there's a pull. Hope your day is too. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, that got their attention, but they weren't scared of it, which surprised me. Where's Palm? Palm didn't run high back there. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Karen. Okay. Uh, dear DJ and Mr. A, Happy Mother's Day or Cat Mom and Dad Day. I've enclosed a box of many things, including cat toys to use as you see fit, cat treats to use as you see fit, and. Uh, one box of Kitten Fancy Feast. Not sure if you have this, but thought it'd be a good way for the kittens to try out regular Fancy Feast and, of course, the small cans of Fancy Feast. Here in Florida, there's a shortage of Fancy Feast in town. I guess COVID really did a number on getting Fancy Feast out to you. If I miss anything else in the box, you can do as you see fit. I'm not picky. Anything to make the cats and kittens happy. I'm especially pleased to see my basket for you on the screen when I watch. It turned out so nice. What is the hook it is hanging on attached to? I've never seen anything like it before. I saw one of the kittens playing with the carrot in the bag. How cute. So you mean that bag back there, and it's actually hanging on a post from the Catastrophic Creations people as part of the climbing wall. It just fit uh, right there real well, and it was super visible. It was just a convenient place to set it. Um, so it worked out pretty well. Uh, 
Uh, it's a really beautiful uh, uh, um, basket too, and it's perfect for putting all the toys in when I want to vacuum through here. And then, like you said, Scotty gets up there and likes to try to sort of play with the carrot where it is. And sometimes pulls some, or has tried to pull some other toys out. Doing it right now too with this. You don't need to pull any toys out of there. Scooty, go get your fetching mouse. Where'd it go? The fetch mouse. She she loves to fetch with those the just the plain uh, fabric mice that have the the tail. Excuse me, the the like string tail. I know that they're they're from the uh, uh, which brand is it? The, I think the Target brand may sells a pack of them or something. Uh, I can't remember now, um, but we've got a ton of them around. I'll just have to bring her some spares because they're always getting misplaced. Um, okay. Uh, do you and DJ think of yourselves as cat parents, or is a proper technical term? I know there's one I've heard a lot called cat servant. Do the faculty have either gotcha days or actual birthdays? Do they get birthday presents? Oh, those are all good questions. Um, I guess, you know, I, do, we, I say mom when I'm talking to the cats about DJ, so I guess we do consider ourselves cat parents as far as it goes. Uh, not too literally, of course, but uh, it works figuratively. And, um, uh, you know, they, they do, I think people online know their gotcha days better than we do. Uh, but most of them, everybody except for Eddie now that's here uh, is a foster fail since Kitten Academy has started. So uh, at this point, I think that all of their adoption dates are definitely known. Um, but Ari and Loganberry uh, and Maggie uh, were already born before they came to Kitten Academy, so we don't know exactly when they were born. Uh, so. So you know a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I guess. Um, but we don't we don't we don't celebrate our own birthdays, and we don't really celebrate theirs either. Uh, but we do fun stuff for them as often as we can. Okay, you say I love watching Scotty and her kittens learn about life in the Kitten Academy. I was surprised to see her as a long-haired tuxie. The only tuxies I've seen are short-haired. Is this abnormal? Just curious. Thanks for all you do. Can't wait for the next mom cat. Hopefully soon. Love, Karen. Well, Karen, thank you so much. Um, I do think that the long-eared tuxies, you know, are a little, little more rare uh, in our experience, but it's not the first time we've had some. I think uh, one of our very first classes, in fact, the, I think it was the class that Loganberry showed up with, uh, was added to later maybe, but was uh, was Crumpet, who I always think of Crumpet. It was a long-haired tuxie kitten. Uh, it was just adorable. So uh, I think our first tuxie uh, might have been one of our first long-haired too uh, at all. So, uh, so thank you. Okay, so here's what you said. You sent this weird little Boots and Barkley uh, catnip chase chicken wand. Uh, chicken wand is very funny. I don't know why. It cracks me up, and it just looks cute, too. So that's cute. Then, uh, like you said, you sent tons of Fancy Feast. I'm not going to pull it all out. You've got some Blue Wilderness treats. Uh, a handful of all kinds of other little cute toys, too. We've got this Beetlejuice-looking uh, wand. We have this, what is this? Canned cat food cat toy. Oh, look at that. It's a little can of cat food, and it's got these fish you can put in it, and then they can try to dig the fish out if they want to. That's a fun little thing. It's got even a cat head on the can. The pull tab's just embroidered, thank goodness. Uh, that's super cute. And then we have a uh, shrimp and uh, uh, lo mein, shrimp flavor lo mein. Uh, packed together. That's also very cute. We have some of the Mylar balls, the fancy Mylar balls. Some more treats, uh, the bursts, blue bursts. Then we have delectables, uh, chicken and tuna, and the tuna and chicken. Oh, well, okay, so this one's chicken and tuna. This one's tuna and chicken. I got nothing. Uh, then uh, we've got the Fancy Feast Savory Cravings, uh, salmon flavored little treats. Those should be really good. And finally, uh, lots more Fancy Feast. And like you say, the Kitten Fancy Feast Classic Pate. We have broken out the Kitten Fancy Feast once in a while when we're trying to encourage one of the kittens that is uh, sort of a slow learner to get on board. Um, and so far, I wouldn't say that we've had a whole lot of luck with it, actually. They seem like they're just as well with the regular Fancy Feast as they would be with the kitten version. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's always going to be the case, and it's nice to have things to try, so I, I really do appreciate that. I'm going to put the treats back in there, and this stuff, I'm going to need another box for, aren't I? 
All right, we'll get there in just a second. Uh, Karen, thank you so much. That is really nice of you to do. Oh, we're gonna make that the food and treats box for now. Let's open this up and see if we can use this for anything. This one also just says Kitten Academy, so let's see what we got here. All right, it says, oh, uh, Mr. A, here are bowls for Scotty, her kittens, and extra for a future non-mom <laughs> from, from Clint, of course, Clint and, and H. Clint, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're so kind to send these things. They're the steel bowls that are good for cat food, cat water. Uh, they have uh, the rubber rim on them so they don't slide around too much. And they just last forever, real solid. Clint, I really appreciate it. I just, I can't. I don't even know what to say. You've been sending these for so long. You've been so consistent. Um, it's uh, it's really nice um, to, to have uh, something that we can sort of rely on as our rock, Clint. Uh, you, and uh, you're not the only one actually in today's mailbag, I don't think, because we've also got our regular from Janice, I see, and I think one from Lilycat's mom, too. So, uh, Lilycat. Wait, I, I can't remember which one is Lilycat and which one is Lilycat's mom. Uh, well, uh, we're, we'll get it figured out. Um, so, there we go. <laughs> Uh, names, what are you gonna do? Uh, Clint, thank you so much. Okay, so these are perfect for endowments for uh, this class and I guess I guess what we're gonna do though is we're gonna use your box to also put this stuff in to get this all down there together. Clint, thank you so much. Put this over there. All right. Uh, well, here, I was just talking about this. This is clearly from Janice C., and I think we all know what's going to be in here. Oh, there's a note. All right, look at that. The note! Uh, <laughs> It says the note, and then it says, OMG, I should have practiced. It's been so long since I've written in cursive. I think we can all relate to that. Uh, I, I haven't written in cursive since grade school, I don't think. All right, this has, uh, it looks like uh, animals, animals driving vegetables. Uh, there's a carrot uh, being driven by a rabbit, a uh, beet being driven by some kind of squirrel thing, and a bird driving a celery stick. Uh, and it says, let's race into spring. Aw. It says, eh. <laughs> start, and we've got an arrow pointing at a pile of books. Uh, when I first saw this card, I thought, well, now that you've had a puppy class, all sorts of animals are racing to enroll at KA, or maybe they're all trying to sneak in as a pregnant mom cat. Uh, congratulations on another wonderfully successful class of adorable kittens and their charming mama, Scooty. Welcome to beautiful actual mom cat Crouton. I can't wait to see your babies arrive and thrive at KA. Happy KA anniversary and thank you for being so wonderful. From Janice C. And we have a finish line too. How about that? Thank you, Janice C. That is really, really sweet of you. Uh, and as usual, of course, the handmade noodle sticks. Uh, we have one for each kit. We have one for Jack Russell in blue. We have one for Beagle in pink. We have one for Pomeranian in white. We have quality control going on here. Uh, we have Bassett in yellow, St. Bernard, Pug Green, and oh, Scotty, that one's yours, the teal. Oh, it's very nice too, I like that color. There we go. All right, well, she wants to jump right in on it. That's a good noodle stick. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, 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 why don't you wait though? Why don't you wait, Scooty, okay? You'll get to play with it all you want at your new home. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't have a good spot for that. Uh, I'm gonna put it in here. go. That'll work out just fine. Uh, Janice C., thank you so much for keeping us in noodle sticks all along, too. Uh, one, you sent them for every class since they were first discovered. So, uh, thank you for that. Oh, that's right. This is my pile of cards and things. That's why I can't find it. It's very, wow, fool myself. It's just out of sight, out of mind. No persistence. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Another one from Lily Cat, like I said. Well, let's check this out. I think we know what to find in here as well. Hi, 
Wait, what are you looking at, Scooty? She's so cute. It says, blanket for Scooty. Oh, from Lily Cat. All right, Lily Cat. Oh, you labeled this one differently because you put it in a black bag so you couldn't write in black marker on it. So you've given her a little tag that says, Scotty. Oh, we can't see it, though, because we have a kitten. All right, Pug, are you talking directly to your fans? You're a little close there. You're going to ruin your vision. You sit that close to the camera. That's how it works, right? Uh, so this is for Scotty, and uh, it is, look at this, like a maroon and cream kind of a thing going on with this green to tie it together. Oh, it's lovely. Wow, uh, that's really lovely. I think Scotty is going to love it. Of course, she's more interested right now in finding those noodle sticks again. Scotty, Scotty, you have noodle sticks. Why don't you go find your fetch mouse for me? Uh, uh, Lily Cat, this is really sweet, and of course shows up in plenty of time. Uh, I don't remember exactly when Scotty's date is, but it's on the Discord, so she's got a little bit of time here with us. Uh, I think she's going to actually be here for a while yet. Uh, so, uh, so it's perfect. Thank you so much. I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use your Trader Joe's bag to put this bag into it to keep it just a little bit safer. There we go. And then we've got your box for other purposes, which... Turn that camera a little bit, uh, move this up and put them on the camera behind us if that's where they're going to be. Hang on. Okay. Oh, this one's from GA Girl. All right. Hang on a second here. I'm excited. I think I might know what's in this too then. So this says GA girl. All right, GA girl, Georgia girl. Ooh, and a gift bag, no less. Very exciting. And the gift bags got a note, and the note says for the new mom cat from GA girl. And I'm betting it's a banana. Ooh, it is. Look at that. But it's a nicely wrapped up gift bag banana. Aw, that's a, that's very cute. It says, this product shipped in its original bag to reduce packaging. And then they put this stuff all around it to increase packaging along with the box. Uh, a bit of a mixed message there, Amazon, but we uh, appreciate the effort. Get an A for effort uh, at Amazon. Uh, GA Girl, thank you so much. This is really cute, and I am going to give it to her sooner rather than later. So I'm just going to put this whole thing right here in my pocket, and then we'll bring it over to her after mailbag, all right? Uh, thank you very much for that. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. What is all this? It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, the bed is for your newest edition, Crouton. I hope she likes it. The treats are to be used how you see fit. From Eileen. All right, Eileen K. Uh, thank you. The bed is for Crouton. The treats are for everyone. Okay. So the treats uh, are Grandma Lucy's freeze-dried mahi. 
single ingredient treats for dogs and cats. Wow, uh, those are some big pieces too, and that looks really, uh, the picture looks really yummy. I wonder if these kids are gonna like it. You wanna try some right now? Grandma Lucy's? Does it smell like fish? Oh, it does, it smells a little fishy. Come here. This is a big piece, you wanna try it? See? Oh, Pug, no, Pug, Pug is very, he's pugnacious about food. Like, if he gets something he likes, he growls and he bites. And try it out. Not too sure. Give it to Mikey. He likes everything. Uh, okay. That's a reference to a commercial that's sold. It's before my time, really. They were still running variations of it when I was a kid, though. Try this in here. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see. And then the bed that you sent. Oh, there's more than just that in the bed. Wow, this is a cool bed. This is for Crouton? I think I'm going to have to open this because I can't really make heads or tails out of what it is. And right, it's, all, it's all sort of uh, vacuum sealed in there. Okay, oh, the last thing that you sent, of course, is uh, Gerber uh, chicken and gravy baby food. This is one of the treats that they definitely like all the time. So even if the fish turns out uh, not to be a hit, I think it will, though, be a hit. Uh, even if it's not, uh, the baby food for sure is. We know that they go nuts for that. I mean, they fight each other and the whole thing. Right, this is twice vacuum sealed. I'm going to open this one without cutting anything. There we go. you got to let the air in. Oh, wow, that's going to puff up. <laughs> I'll never get this back in a box. Okay, let's try it. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. It's a, it's a big... You know, it's turned inside out a little bit. Uh, I can tell because it's got this bottom on it. So it's a bed that has a bottom, and it's got this, uh, this little blanket that you slip into. Did you say this is for Crouton, or did you say this is for Scotty? Because I could see Crouton going for Crouton. I could see her for going for something like this that she has to like push her way under like she does with those blankets, right? Maybe that's exactly the right thing for her. Very interesting idea. And since this is also for Crouton, I think what I'm going to do, uh, Eileen, thank you very much. I think what I'm going to do is put these together into this box to bring over to Crouton sooner rather than later. There we go, just like that. Put it right back in that direction, out of the way for a minute. Uh, Eileen, thank you so much. Oh, and the treat, we had a box for treats. Which one was it? It's this one. Perfect, even though it's open, we can put it in there for now. And this can go in there as well. Oh, there we go. Now that's organization. Hi, look out, buggy. You ate that fish, did you like it? Are you looking for more? Are you excited about it now that you know what it is? Uh, you can wait a little. which is nice because I can't tell which way to open it. There we go. Now I can. International. This way up. Oh, it's got little cat stickers on it. That's very cute. I did say this way up. If I noticed that, I would have been okay right from the start. We have a blanket in here. Oh, I see. The blanket's sort of packing material, but it's also very nice, usable. Uh, it's got stars on it, and it's got this pink... Uh, the back's like a polar fleece, but the top's like a flannel, so we can use both sides. Very nice. Okay, now, in here, it's uh, ooh, oh boy, a bunch of stuff. I see a note. We're going to get to the note in just a second. But first, we have some Dreamies. That's Ari's deal. We have these Cat at Nibblies. Uh, these guys will fight each other for these as well. We've seen that happen already. Um, we have, ooh, Cat at Creamy. That's like Cat at version of Churu. Uh, more dreamies, more dreamies, and here we go, the note, ooh, sealed with a kitten, and inside, happy, <laughs> well, it's two chocolate rabbits, one is saying happy Easter to the other, who's saying what, because his ears are missing, uh, and then inside the joke is, it uh, just continues, it says, I said happy Easter, all right, to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, all the faculty students, and mama cats at the academy, have a wonderful Easter. We have enclosed some treats for the kitties and some gifts for the wonderful humans. Best wishes, 
uh, Morimu and Mummy. I think it says Mori, Morimu and Mummy. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with anyway. So thank you to M&M. Aha. &M. Uh -huh. Uh, we have another matching blanket, by the way. Oh, and a third one in gray. That's a cool set. Uh, we have also a milk chocolate guinea. Oh, wow. Uh, that looks... Uh, it's one guinea, it says right on it. Betty's one guinea. All right, there we go. I don't know how much a guinea's worth, but I do know how much a guinea's worth of chocolate is, I guess. Wait, does that make sense? No, that doesn't make sense at all. Uh... We also have a book here that says one man's, oh, it is Nala's World, One Man is Rescue Cat and a Bike Ride Around the Globe. Wow, by Dean Nicholson. Uh, Sunday Times bestseller. I will check this out. Left his life in Scotland. Dean Nicholson left his life in, Dean Nicholson, that name's familiar. Oh, hey, it's the guy who wrote the book. Uh, left his life in Scotland to cycle around the world and found a kitten in Bosnia and took her with for the rest of the, the trip, apparently. Aww. So sweet. Well, that should be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Uh, Nala's World by Dean Nicholson. And then also a bag of, ooh, a <laughs> Lint Gold Bunny, Dark Chocolate Gold Bunny. These are so yummy. I know because we got sent one of these already for Chris, uh, Easter, and I've eaten the whole thing because I like that. Uh, so Lint Gold Bunny and... Oh, Betty's. That, that looks familiar somehow. Look at that. One guinea. Uh, cookery school and cook shop. Wow. Cafe and tea rooms. We also have Betty's coffee. Single origin Java. Smooth uh, Cali, Calibaru, Indonesian, I guess. Okay. I'm excited to try that as well. Well, thank you so much for all of it. That is really, really sweet. Uh, we were going with uh, M&M, right? Uh, I think. So thank you so much for that. I'm going to put the, the treats for people in here and the book in the pile. There we go. I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, and this goes in there. Well, perfect. And then the treats for kitties I'm going to put over here. I know you want me to open those, those little cat things right now, don't you? Oh, 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 you can wait a few minutes, Scooby. Okay. Everybody's starting to settle down there on the rug. Wow, what's the matter, kids? You don't have the perseverance to get through mailbag? All right, this says it's from Michelle J. Uh, it's been put in the return address, Michelle J. I assume that they wouldn't let you leave a note, but we'll find out. Thank you for that in advance. From uh, Peace of Love Cats. Interesting. There we go. Per, it says per pack. Oh, it's still oh, two, two per packs. All right. It says per pack. Let's see what a per pack is. Hi. Apparently they are an Etsy as Peace Love Cats gifts. And, oh, these boxes are so cute. Look at that. Inside the box, it's got this little peeking cat. Sort of like the photobomb version of Millet. Pack with love for you and your cats to enjoy. Aw, to the newest mommy and Dr. and Dr. DJ for all you do for the homeless mommies and babies with love from Michelle, formerly from L.A. Oh, formerly from L.A. Uh, okay, Michelle, thank you so much. So, uh, this is the one, this, this one says, newest mommy, uh, so this is for um, Crouton, I assume. Oh, wow, and it is, it is just uh, like you would expect, a box full of cat stuff. Look at that, we got the Tiki Cat stuff, we got uh, this uh, Fruit Stripe Gum Mouse, we got a, a straw, oh, a plastic straw, oh, I see, wait, it's not a straw, it's a toy, it's a wand, oh, hang on, this one's not for you, maybe the other one's for you. Oh, we got Temptations, we got Mylar Balls, we got a bag of organic catnip that says Peace Love Cats on it, we got these little uh, fuzzy things, we got the Charlie balls. We got the mice, uh, the regular mice. We got the mice with the fe oh feathers. We got a spring. That is just a little bit of everything for Crouton. I'm sure she will enjoy it. So I'm gonna put that back here and put the note right on top so we remember. That this is Crouton's box. There we go. And then this one might have a separate note. Let's take a look. Is there one for you, Scooty? Oh, there's no note for this one. Maybe they're all for Crouton. No, they're the same. I think this one's for Scooby. We're going to pretend this one's for Scooby anyway. Scooby's going to pretend it's for her. 
you don't even know what you want from here. Oh, I know what you want from here, though. This is a good one. You want it right now? You want to take that right now? It's like, yeah, okay, but you gotta fetch it. You can't just have it here. Hang on, hang on. You ready? You ready? All right, that should keep her distracted enough for us to put the rest away for now. Michelle, thank you so much. These are really nice uh, boxes from, uh, let's see, the, the it's Peace, Love, Cats, Gifts. I think they needed the name Gifts on the end there probably to make it uh, unique. I don't know. Peace, Love, Cats, Gifts per pack. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I should probably write Scooty on one and um, uh, Crouton on the other, but I don't see my pen right now. So, uh, Oh, there it is. Okay. Do the Scooty on one, Crudy on the other. Okay, so this is the Scooty one. Hi, Scooty, thank you. Okay, you ready? You ready for more? Wow, that C. Went a little too far on the C. That's all right. Lost at C. Okay, oh, Scotty uh, for that one, and this one is for Crouton and Crew. Okay, good. So I'm just going to set these whoop, over this direction. Hi, Scooty, look at that. Can I take the tag off? DJ really hates it when I leave the tags on. You're still going to play with it, right? Hi, DJ. Are you here to steal Jack? Hmm. He was. Maybe you should steal somebody else for a change. Did you ever think of that? Oh, what'd you bring? Little lights. Um, yeah, he does look pretty, pretty, pretty light at the moment, doesn't he? Little lights. And... Oh, here. Maybe there's a book you'll want to read. It's uh, How to Live with a Calculating Cat by oh. Eric Gurney. Hang out with Palm. Are you got here, Scoots? Okay. All right. Well, this just says Canada. Uh, oh, Alto Clarinet Lady. All right. Alto Clarinet Lady. One of our regulars on Discord. Not you, Scooty. You got to stay here. No, I see you thinking about it. She doesn't mean you. Okay. We'll get Scooty out here in, in due time. Look at all these rainbow tape. That's very cool. All right. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh there must be somebody out there, huh? Okay, there's a note right on top. The note says, hello, sending a couple items for the KACON raffle. Oh, nice. Uh, they can be raffled separately or together. Thank you from Alto Clarinet Lady. Oh, okay. Well, most of the stuff that's been sent for KACON, I've given straight to the KACON people, but since we opened this during mailbag, uh, let's take a look. Why not? So, uh, yeah, uh, KACON uh, is our annual convention, uh, and it's really cool. And I say it's ours. It's not really ours in the sense that, uh, you know, I don't have uh, any say in it or, you know, planning it as such. They, they do ask me a little bit because they want me to attend. <laughs> but... Uh, but it's all done by the fans in a, in a really cool way. And uh, the KACON planning committee is a big deal. And they just set up all the stuff. Uh, it's wonderful. So there's also a raffle that we've been doing every year. And uh, the proceeds from the raffle go to, some of it to goes to uh, Kitten Academy. And some of it goes usually to whichever shelter we're working with, which is the Danbury Animal Welfare Society. So you say you sent two of these for the KACON raffle. So we can just take a look at one, maybe. If I can figure out how to open it correctly. There we go. Oh, it's a mug. And on the mug it is, aw, it looks like pictures of, uh, several pictures of all the kittens, a little a collage, a kitten collage. Uh, and also kittens playing with noodle sticks. So it's uh, some Kitten Academy scene on that side and then a whole bunch of little Kitten Academy kittens on this side. That's a very cute mug. I'm sure that it will be uh, a very popular raffle prize. So thank you, Alto Clarinet Lady. And everybody else who uh, has sent things to participate in KACON. 
uh, coordinated things with the, the people setting up the raffle. Uh, there's a whole bunch of that that I don't even know about. It hasn't all come through me. Um, so I'll set that aside to give to somebody who is managing KACon next time I see them. And uh, thank you so much, Alto Clarinet Lady. This is very kind of you. Okay, this says Scarlet Hotshot, and I think that box there also says Scarlet Hotshot. So uh, we got a twofer. Scooty, do you want me to throw this again? Are you settled in? You ready? Yeah. Or is it now? Is it now? Oh, uh, Saints. Is it Saints? Oh, Scooty! Wow, she is just. A <laughs> This is so cool, Scarlet Hotshot. Where did you find this? Uh, so first off, it's got this cute little kitty in it. This cute little blue winking, uh, lying down kitty. He looks like custard uh, laying on his back to be played with. And also a lobster, very appropriate. Those are very cute. Oh, that's not what made me gasp. Oh, Scooty. Wow, speaking of gasping. This is what made me gasp. It's a rocket ship scratcher toy. Oh, if I can get it out of here. I don't think I can. <laughs> there we go. Uh, look at this. It's a rocket ship with a little dangly uh, red uh, planet center. Uh, that makes me think of the Star Trek 2009 J.J. Uh, Abrams version for reasons. Uh, but it doesn't look like that. It's just reminiscent. Anyway, I think it stands up like this with a little dangly toy for them to play in and around. It's so cute. Uh, helps encourage positive scratching behavior. That is just the cutest little rocket ship. I'm, I'm almost tempted to put it out for them right now. Uh, but, hang on, let's take a look and see what your other box is. They've got so much stuff in the room. Oh, it's adorable though. Hang on, okay, now this also says Scarlet Hotshot on it, so let's just continue. Uh, those little toys though, so cute. The lobster's very funny also. Uh, Oh, here we go. This is the one with the note. Ooh, and a pop-up thing in it, too. The whole box is popping up. What is this? Some sort of giant pink bed. Oh, I think it's an Easter bunny. Oh, buddy, you're a little late, though. Filled with Easter stuff. There's even eggs. <gasps> How cool is this? Well, we can use it next year for Easter, or we can just call it like a spring celebration and have it keep going. It's still spring. I think it'll be more fun to save it for, for next Easter, though. We do have an Easter box ready to go. There's all these eggs and uh, this, oh, this this could be fun anytime. It's just pastel colors. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, Scarlet Hotshot and this very happy looking bunny bed. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mr. A and DJ, let's see what the note says. Maybe that'll give us some guidance. What do you think, Saint? Oh, it's got a cute little bunny, I mean, a, a kitten with bunny rabbit ears on it. Oh, and it pops up with two kittens with bunny rabbit ears, all right. Double down. Uh, let's see, there's a little thing you can put to keep it popped up. There we go. Uh, so there's the, the cover and there's the inside with the pop-up and it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, wishing you a very happy Easter full of rejuvenation and new life. Even though this package probably won't reach you by Easter, I hope it brings a smile to your face. Toys for kittens, eggs for faculty, love, scarlet underscore hotshot. Well, Scarlet Hotshot, thank you so much. It did definitely bring a smile to my face, and I think it will continue to do so. And I think we will pack up the Easter stuff for next year's Easter, and it will bring a smile to my face then. In fact, I will even put your little note in it, and then I'll have an extra reason to smile uh, come Easter. So there we go. We'll put it right back in the greenies box for the moment. That is so nice of you. And I already have a collection of things that people sent for Easter that didn't all get deployed. In fact, I think the only thing we really deployed were the carrots and uh, those little real fur balls that are in the, uh, the Easter um, uh, colors. What do you, uh, uh, pastel. Pastel is the word I'm looking for. The pastel colored fur balls uh, got deployed, and those were a big hit. So this rocket, though, wow. Uh, so I'm just going to write Easter. Easter. There we go. I'm just going to push that right out of the way for now. This thing uh, is so cool. I, you didn't leave any note really to tell us what to do about it, did you? No, I don't think you did. Uh, but I can't decide, like I said, whether to put it out now because it's so cool or to maybe make it a new toy for little tinier kittens. I think they would have fun with it, but I think that they would just knock it right over, right? I'm going to write rocket. Right over here. 
here for now. Scarlet underscore Hotshot, thank you so much. That brings us to what I think is our final box here. This giant one from BMB, the BMB sisters, uh, Beatrice and Bernadette, who we've, I think, heard from in the last two or three mailbags uh, consecutively. Uh, also, we got little stickers on the box. Let's see here. No, I just put this whole box right in front of me and the camera and everything, but it's a big one. So there's a note right on top. I like that. And oh, the note's got this vintage painting of little concerned look looking kittens sitting in someone's garden looking all very, very concerned faces. My goodness. Uh, so there is that. And inside it says... Hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens at Kitten Academy. We are so excited that you have a new cat mom. Crouton seems so sweet and shy. Can't wait for her kittens to arrive, as usual, enclosed as food, toys, and blankets to be used as you see fit. From the B&B &B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. Well, B&B &B sisters, thank you so much. Crouton is, uh, she was, she is shy, for sure. She's a, she's a shy cat, but she's not shy like River was. Like River, River's like Eddie. Eddie and River are like fundamentally defined by their shyness. And uh, I don't think they're ever gonna break free of that, but they know, you know, when they're in a, their safe place, like Eddie, if you can get him to snuggle with you, he just, he loves snuggling, he never gets enough. Um, but Eddie, to this day, uh, we've had him for 10 years now, nine or 10 years now, he's been with us and uh, the whole time, if, if he sees me like walking towards him, his first instinct even now is to jump up and run and hide. And, and very often, like if I want to pick him up or pat him or be nice to him, even though you can see how much he wants that, he still has to run away because it's just, it's just like built into him. I don't think Crouton is like that. I think Crouton is one of those cats who's not like fundamentally defined by her shyness. I think she's just had been through a lot and she got here and she needed a little bit of time to kind of adjust. Um, and she may be, you know, she's, she definitely is one of the, the cat kids that's gonna choose flight, uh, you know, when she gets into, a, 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 um, I, I already saw like when Maggie was hissing at her, rather than hiss back or anything else, you could see she wanted to be sort of deferential and then run away. So I, I wouldn't say shy, but definitely, um, timid i guess maybe is the way to put it uh anyway uh the the cool thing though is that she's already changed so much since she's been here she's like come out of her shell uh, i go in the room that she jumps up and comes to see me in fact it's hard to, to get a picture of her being cute in her room because the minute i open the door to go in she's gonna get up and come at me uh, which is really sweet and she loves nothing more than just being patted and you see she's spending more and more time out uh even if she does still kind of hide once in a while so I think she's gonna turn out to be more one of those that just sort of hides initially, but once she gets comfortable with it, might not see that behavior so much anymore. Uh, anyway, here's what you sent, I assume, all for Crouton and her uh, kittens and, and for that endowments. Uh, so let's see what it is. It is the uh, Eeks fat cat, the little crazy mice. Uh, we got various crazy face mice. Scooty, did you bring your, your throwing toys? Did you bring any of your throwing toys? No, it's over there. Go get it. Start picking all the toys to, to play with once and then abandon. That's not how it's done. Uh, we have a, a box of the Fancy Feast Classic Pate. I'm gonna put that over here with the rest of the food. I appreciate that. We have these cool cat print blankets. Look at this. We've got all these uh, various cats playing with things, strings and butterflies and stuff. There we go. Little kittens, I'll put that in our pile of blankets now. This one's got a, a real cool, um, uh, what am I looking for? Um, impressionist, that's what I'm looking for, impressionist vibe, or a, sort of a watercolor impressionist thing. It's a cat obviously sniffing a or having a butterfly land on its nose, but you have to be able to see the whole thing, I think, to make it out. It's very pretty, the colors are spectacular on that. Uh, here we have deer and foxes, woodland creatures, basically bunny, deer, foxes, things you would find in the forest. Oh, and mushrooms, very cute little mice. They are adorable. I especially love that fox. 
Very sweet. Uh, and Scooty. Hi, Scooty. Are we going to find you? The oh, okay. You want to lay there on this blanket? You like it, huh? You're a blanket kitty, I think, um, more than some of the others. Okay. Uh, oh, and another blanket, too. We got this pink one with this little kitty that has, uh, is it a bird on his head? No, it's a crown. It's he's wearing a crown, I see. Very cute. <laughs> You're still trying to get that mouse off of there, huh? Oh, we have another fancy feast. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, somebody uh, who had sent the fancy feast said that uh, there was like a shortage of fancy feast in Florida. We have seen that here too, where sometimes Chewy's like, hey, uh, you know, we can't get you your regular order this week. But uh, fortunately, we keep enough spare that we haven't had any issues with it. They always get it resolved uh, in that time. But they've been sort of like rolling shortages, I think. Uh, this is a silly spring, which is a bouncy fun tube combined with uh, a ball and a feather. And it even gives you the instruction, you're pushed to launch, which is exactly how you do it. You push down on it, and this thing acts like a spring and launches the whole thing in the air. That'll be a fun toy for somebody. Uh, Scooty thinks it's a fun toy now. Scooty, you don't need this. You've got so many toys in here. Let's play with something you got, like that new toy that you just got anyway. I can't reach it from here. It's over by my shoes. We'll get it right after this. Almost through. We have this uh, weird flutter roller, which is a silicone uh, rolly tube with some feathers sticking out of it. It says it's a soft and quiet toy. Here we have a bunch of little fur mice. Oh, these are great. These are probably going to be the, some, oh, and they rattle. Yes. Just the kind of thing that every cat likes. Scooty's a big fan of those, too. And then here they are, Smarty Cat Skitter Critters Value Pack. This is the, exactly the kind of thing that she will typically play fetch with. Uh, something like this, a little cloth mouse with a, with a little uh, whoop, tail. <laughs> the tails are uh, string, little string tails. Uh, real high value for Scooty. And then we've got a whole Chihuahua uh, tiny rattle mice box. Will you fetch one of these? Will you bring it back if I throw it? I know she put, she's got an orange one of these in the bedroom that she does fetch with. But it's not always, oh, not always a hit. Man, she is just... Oh, she goes. She just goes when she goes. 100% in. Okay. B&B, uh, &B, sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette, thank you for these awesome toys. They're really fun, and the blankets are fun, and the fancy feast is very practical. I love all of it. Thank you to everybody who sent everything. Thank you to Scooty for getting this mouse back. Let's go do it again. Oh. <laughs> I gotta be careful when I throw things by the wall because she slides and very frequently slides into the wall, uh, which is funny, but can't be nice to do all the time. Okay, uh, let's see. I Now I've gotta get all this stuff sort of sorted out and then put away, uh, and then we will wrap up this archive, and then I'll see what I can do to get Scooty and the rest of getting some entertainment today. Uh, a little something fun for them to do. We try to give them fresh stimulation as much as we can, or at least get them out of the room to run around the house for a while. Now, let's see, I had a plan for what each of these boxes were as we were going, and now I've completely lost the thread. This is a rocket. This is for crouton. Okay, got that. This is all the stuff that has to go towards the washing. Uh, let's see, let's do this. This can go wash. This is to play with anytime. This can all go to the washing. This will go, let's see, cards. Those have to stay out. These can all go this way, which goes down by the endowments. I don't think I'm going to be confused if I put those in there. This in here. And then on this box, we're going to write, wait. Uh, this we're going to put here with the Crudy crew. This is Scooty. These are labeled. And this is Scooty. Good, good, good. I think we're starting to get this sorted out. Okay. And the pens. This box is Scooty. Scooty's a class anyway. This box is Crouton and Crew. Good. And this box is Treats. Okay. Everything else I think makes sense. And this is for me, Betty's, my signs. 
terrific. Oh, and this is for the K8 Con. Uh, I guess I gotta put that down in the kitchen so that I don't forget it. Okay. Good, all right. Okay, uh, thank you so much to everybody. I just, you guys take such wonderful care of the kittens and such wonderful care of me. I, I really appreciate all of it. I'm gonna get some of this stuff out of here, like I said, and then I'll be back, we'll wrap up the archive, figure out what these kittens can do for fun uh, in just a minute. Tom, <laughs> oh, I thought you left with DK. Who did she take? It wasn't you? Why did I think it was you, Pom? Did she take Jack after all, after she said she wasn't going to take Jack? No, that's Jack over there, isn't it? There's Pug, Saint. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there is somebody that I don't see. And it's Bass. Little Bass, little Bassy. All right, fair enough. She thought Bassie was going to be her favorite right off the bat. That's why she named him Bassett. From Columbo's dog being a Bassett hound. And I don't think that's the way it worked out with Jack being so personable. First persona? Whatever. English.
What are you getting into here? Do you want to be part of mailbag? Oh, don't open those. Don't want to open those treats, buddy. I see you trying. Uh -huh. Nice try, though. No, okay, these have got to go. You and then Ari's going to be the next one who does that. He finds treats. You got a real nose for treats, don't you, buddy? You know there's treats in your mailbox, huh? Mailbag box. Sorry, not for you still. Did Ari teach you to do that? Ari's our treat digger. Ari's most of the reason that the uh, mailbag stuff has to be hidden in the basement because. Otherwise, he will dig through a cardboard box if there's treats in it. It doesn't matter if the treats are like completely sealed. And there's no conceivable way he could know they were there. He knows. He knows.
everything plus uh, we sort of unleash the can can so but uh, I got a vacuum in here clean up a little too so I'm gonna get started on that we're gonna end the archive right here thanks so much for joining us for mailbag thanks to everybody who sent everything it's amazing it's always amazing and uh, if you want to keep watching you can watch her run around a little bit keep an eye on croutons see when she's gonna deliver her little tiny croutons and uh, hey that's it so Hey, stop, stop eating that stuff. That's, oh, it's just like stuff. Easy for me to say. All right. Uh, where's the archive? All right, thanks archive folks.